Good afternoon, Hardin County. We are here with the um, Public Information Officer uh, for the Elizabethtown Police Department, um, Officer Thomas. That's right. And he is here to tell us about um, some crime that's going on in our area. That's exactly right. You know, Rebecca, thieves are some of the most creative deviants that we encounter. It seems like they're always one step ahead of us, and it's hard to predict what exactly they're going to do next. But here lately, we have had a rash of theft of mail cases where uh, one or more individuals are going to residential mailboxes and they are taking the contents. And if they find checks or other financial documents, they're either forging the checks, making them out to themselves, or in some cases, we've had some identity theft cases uh, wow. where they're taking the information and creating identities and doing other types of financial crime. So you said they're like whiting out over top of the check? Yeah, that's right. If they find a check, you know, that you've written to someone, they'll white out whoever you've made it out to and put their own information in there or possibly a stolen identity and uh, make it out to that person and they'll cash it and move on to the next target. So this is happening in our area, but you said it could be much further? That's exactly right. Like, There's not any particular neighborhood that seems to have been targeted. Okay. There, it's been all over town. It's been up in Radcliffe. Uh, we do have one suspect, and if you go to our Facebook page, it has his information. Um, mm -hmm. This particular suspect is wanted in at least four cases here in Elizabethtown and also multiple cases uh, across the state. He actually has six active warrants right now. So we don't know if it's just one individual. It could be one. It could be multiple individuals. Okay. How does somebody know if they've been the victim of a crime like this? Well, obviously, if uh, your bank notifies you that your check has been used in the wrong place, then you'll know. What we're encouraging people to do, first of all, if you have to mail out a check, other important financial information or personal identity information, please don't use your residential mailbox. Mm -hmm. That's uh, simply too risky. It appears that these thieves are targeting mailboxes where the flag's up, indicating that there's outgoing mail. And they're not being really discriminate. If they see a mailbox with outgoing mail, they're helping themselves, and then they'll sift through it and find out if there's anything they want, and they'll toss the rest. So even non-essential documents are being just stolen and destroyed. Um, if you've uh, sent out a financial document recently, um, a check or something like that, we would encourage you to at, contact the uh, organization or person you sent that check to. Make sure that it's got where it's supposed to go. If it hasn't, uh, contact your financial institution immediately and uh, make sure that that check is canceled. And uh, you know, if you think you've been the victim of identity theft, you know, you can have your credit uh, history uh, looked into. Uh, if you think you've been uh, a victim of identity theft, contact the police department so we can uh, do a report and start an investigation. Good to know. All right. All right. So don't be putting your personal information and checks in your personal a residential mailbox right now hold off on that drop it in yeah we recommend go to a business find a drop box or go to the u.s postal service put it in a secure container uh, that these thieves can't access good to know all right well thanks for stopping by today well thank you so much